Hey, Jason Browse here from Browse Blades. I get a lot of emails from people asking me how I cut my one inch diameter holes, my finger holes. Um, this is basically my secret. Uh, unfortunately for you guys, um, the secret is about a seven or eight thousand dollar secret because the tool that you need to operate requires at least a six thousand pound machine. Trying to put a tool like this in a uh, drill press is going to ruin your drill press. Your piece is going to come flying out. It's going to cause a lot of damage. So um, if you have a manual mill, then I suggest you use this trick. Um, I Back when I was a machinist, this is the kind of tool that we use to uh, bore out ID holes. It's called an RB drill. And it's basically just a shaft and it's specifically milled and then has inserts on each side. It's, uh, it's kind of a genius uh, invention that has worked great for me and I know a lot of other machinists use it as well. Mainly for the lathes, but it can be used for mills. So the trick is to use uh, cutting oil. Um, in this, I use a jock itch. Um, that's actually a cutting paste instead of an oil. When you use an oil, you put it on the tool, it wants to just drip off. But if you use paste, then it'll stick to the tool that you're cutting with. So the trick is to run the feed rate really slow, especially when you're using a one inch diameter tool. Um, these go all the way down to like half inch, I believe. I just bought one, a one inch. These are actually about, probably around three or $400 if you get a good quality one, which I would recommend. Uh, the inserts are actually expensive too. Um, but to me it's worth it because as you know I make a lot of silent soldiers and I use it a lot. Um, so we'll get started here. Uh, the first thing you gotta do is you have to clamp all the axes because it's gonna be using a lot of pressure pushing down so everything's gonna wanna shift so you're gonna wanna tighten it up. You know the X and Y. Um, Alright here we go. need 
to rush a job like this because rushing will cause mistakes. running with coolant. You're not going to have to sit there and do it all by hand. But on the custom stuff, this is how it's done. There you go. You have a perfect one inch diameter hole. There you go. Thanks for watching.